life is about thanksgiving. You learn to thank God for your life. The easiest way to thank God is to stand, turn, look where God picked you from, and then you are going to say thank you. You look the house you lived in. If it was you, they told you to catch one, you wouldn't struggle. Because they were in your room. You just give God the glory. I tell people that Thanksgiving is an attitude of appreciation. And appreciation is an application for more. People who are grateful, they will always receive. Learn to say thank you to people that change your life. Learn to say thank you to persons God used to place you in a place of advantage. Young ministers, young pastors, learn to say thank you to your fathers who made you pastors. Now, let's move very quickly and let's read something very important here. First Thessalonians chapter number 5 and verse 17. Somebody said Thanksgiving. We are in the month of Thanksgiving. First Thessalonians chapter number 5, verse number 17. Pray without ceasing. First of all, pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. What is everything? Everything is inclusive. You don't just give thanks because things are working for you. You give thanks even when things are not working. It says pray without ceasing. Which means there is no cessation to prayer. You and I, we continue to pray. When we succeed, we pray. When we fail, we pray. When we celebrate, we pray. When we dance, we pray. Pray without ceasing. Then he says, and in everything, even when the prayer was not answered, give thanks. The reason why we are failing to grow and to mature in our Christian work is that we have given God conditions. There is a place we are going to appreciate God when things are working okay, then we are okay with God. When things are not working, then we are not okay with God. But I came to discover something that what God want to work on is not you but your attitude. And the only thing that determines your attitude is when seasons are changing. In the same way seasons change in the physical, there are seasons in the spirit. So he says, pray without ceasing. But listen to this. In everything, give thanks. Semicolon. Which means the sentence hasn't finished. What I've said prior is about to be connected to what I've said. It has just partially ended. But what is going to follow is connected to what I said prior. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. What is the will of God? The will of God is to give thanks. You're going to understand a prayer of thanksgiving. The attitude of thanksgiving releases more miracles than a prayer of fasting that is full of complaints and attitude. God wants you to learn to give thanks. Glory to the name of Jesus. That's why there must never be a season in your life that stops you or causes you to quit to do what you're supposed to do for God. It's important, ladies and gentlemen, to learn how to appreciate God for what he has done. So thanksgiving, it is your response to him or to his grace with gratitude. That's number one. Number two, it is an expression of gratitude to God. Why do we give thanks to God? Because everything we have, its source is from God. 
Thanksgiving is an act of giving thanks, acknowledging of the benefits of favors, especially from God. Thanksgiving is a foundational response to God in the Bible. So learn to say thank you. What's the man? You need to graduate from complaining. I say, you, need, you know, let me tell you something. What makes people not to be thankful is when they start to compare themselves with others. When you run your own race, You'll be the champion of your race. You are the champion. Listen to me. The house you live in is the best house in this city. The car you drive is the best car around town. Because you appreciate what you have, you take care of what you have and you give God the glory. But when you start to compare yourself with other people, you are going to start to feel inferior. And when you start to feel like that, you're going to say, God, what is wrong with me? Immediately you feel as if singleness is a punishment. You start to feel inferior because you're hanging around a lot of people who are married and you think something has left you. But when you have a prophetic eye through the third eye, you know where you are going. You know it is not over yet. You know, I don't know what I'm talking to right now. So you are not going to complain. Even if you don't have money now, you know for sure that I may not have a car right now, but I know and because of that, I refuse to insult my God. Instead, I'm going to lift up his name uh, because whatever I have prayed for it is on the way shout power thanksgiving is difficult on this point number one when you are not trusting fully God's faithfulness all of us there was a point we felt like God will never change our life me never zavane I struck God when I tell my story it's like a fairy tale I know suffering. I know how to not afford a bed. I know how to work in the night just to make money for bread. I know how to work for my education. My school, I never paid fees. I had no money. I was digging trenches. Uprooting trees. I learned painting, I learned building, I learned roofing. Number two, thanksgiving is difficult when you're not fully yielded to God as the good king. You must be yielded to God if you're going to give thanks. Okay. Number three, thanksgiving is difficult when you are proud or arrogant. Some of you have got challenges. You can't even come for prayer because you are arrogant. You say, I'm going to pray. So, tandazela, tandaza. Tandaza. These things happen sometimes for God to teach you humility. Arrogance is not going to take you anywhere. When things are not okay, don't pretend to be okay. Come before the Lord the way you are and pour your heart before him. Lord, I thank you for the power you have to change my life. Thanksgiving is difficult when you are anxious. Anxious. You are in a hurry or you are afraid of something. Don't give God conditions. Let God be God. Thanksgiving is difficult when you are focused on the negative. You must learn to focus on the positive. Somebody say positive. There are people who enjoy negative energy. Oh, things are not okay. Oh, things. No, no, no. Must say it is well. The Lord is making a way. Learn to give thanks to him. And when you dance and you praise him, no one must even think you are going through some stuff. Thanksgiving is difficult when you are jealousy or envious of other people. 
jealous umona nyesizulu umona bazabana will cause you not to give god thanks because you're going to say why am i not having what my tabela has umona will make you not to thank god for your friend you know when your friend prosper you must say my friend i thank god for you this is God. This is God. This is God. Thanksgiving will be very difficult if you are holding on to anger and bitterness. When you are bitter against God, when you are angry of certain things in your life, you won't be thankful to God. Let me move forward. The reason why we need to be thankful to God. John 3.27 and I close. John 3.27. Come on. John answered, John and, said, answered and said. A man can receive nothing except it be given from heaven. A man can receive nothing. Not a husband. Not a car. Not a job, not a promotion, not money, not healing. A man can receive nothing except it be given to him from heaven. So whatever you have received, you never received it because you have got a B.A. degree. You received it because heaven released it for you. Oh, Makadosh Kabuya Mandereba. A man can receive nothing except be given to him from heaven. So if you haven't received what you are looking for, you tell your friend, heaven is about to release my miracle. Heaven hasn't yet released it. Somebody shout glory. So when you receive a car, heaven has given it to you. When you get married, heaven has given it to you. When you get a job, heaven has given it to you. When you get healed, heaven has given it to you. When you buy a shoe, heaven has given it to you. When you get a promotion, heaven has given it to you.